Hi everybody, it's Tamara from Etc. Eyes, and um, I thought I would make a video to show you how I made this cute little, um, I call it a list maker, it folds out, it's like a little booklet. And then you've got um, a nice little pad here. Um, so I showed this on Instagram um, probably a couple of weeks ago now, and um, it was quite popular, so I thought I should um, share it. I really was just um, wanting to play with some new napkins I got when I made this, so I was just sort of fooling around and um, trying to use up some bits and pieces, so... Um, and this is what I made, but it's a, I really like it and, and I'm a list maker. Um, I'm constantly making shopping lists and grocery lists and Christmas lists and all that kind of stuff. So I thought um, you might enjoy this one. So I start with two long paint chips. The, these ones have, uh, where are these from? These are from Benjamin Moore and they have um, four paint colors on them. And I'm going to take a couple, really, I think I just need two book pages. And, and some glue. So the first thing, if I recall what I did, <laughs> I am going to glue this in here. So I'm just going to run a strip down the one long side and I'm going to fold fold this over so it sticks. There we go. And I think I'm going to even up this edge over here. I'm just using a text to help me cut a straight line. and then fold it over one more time. That way both sides are covered. Lots of glue. Okay, and it's okay if it uh, if there's a little bit overlapping over here. In fact that's a good thing. Okay, so I do want to Try to cut off the ends though. Let's see here. If I can see where that edge is. There we go. So I'm going to do the same on my other paint strip. Some glue. Could go right to the bottom this time. Maybe the top. Fold it over. Okay. Whoops. on myself. I'm going to cut that bottom piece off now so I can see it. All right, and then again I just fold it over. And glue it down. Okay, so I've got my two outside edges. Fold that, that little edge that's peeking out, just give it a fold. <coughs> and I need, actually I need one more book page. Uh, I can't use that one. Okay, now, you could put a third, um, paint chip in the middle here. I didn't. I didn't feel like it was necessary. But I do want to make it just a little bit wider 
than the paint sample because these are going to fold into that. So I'll make that a little wider. Um, I don't even think I need to cut that raggedy edge off. Um, yeah, I guess I do. Okay, so then I'm going to cut this. I'm going to use the edge of the book page to guide the cut. And of course, I want it the same height. There we go. So these little edge pieces are what's going to help you to secure it to this middle piece. So I'm going to put the glue on here. And of course you want to make sure to go a little, like the tiniest bit in from your fold. There we go. Now this one, I don't have much of an edge on it, so I'm actually, let me see if I can do this, I'm going to add a little piece, a little raggedy edge that I cut off. I'm going to add that on here, just to give me a little bit more. See, all these little scraps come in handy sooner or later. <laughs> there we go. And... I'm going to glue this middle section down so that it stays shut and oops, glue this piece onto here. There we go. Okay. Oh, I ended up with a big uh, blank area down here. I wasn't paying attention to my book page. Oh, and this glue is not holding like I want it to. There we go. And it's okay if it's all pieced together and Frankensteined. <laughs> doesn't look too pretty yet because it's going to get better. All right, my edge is just a little uneven. There we go. Okay, so really the, the what makes this little guy special are a couple of things. First of all, it's the inside piece. Um, but secondly, it's the decoration, right? So um, first things first, as usual, we're going to ink up the sides. Ink up all your sides, inside and out. Okay, good enough. Um, okay, so where will we start? I think I think, I think we will start with the decoration. So, okay, so I think I'm, I just grabbed this little scrap of a napkin. I had cut other, something else out of it and I've got this little scrap left. I think we'll use that. And I'll just mod, mod podge it on. Um, I think I'll just do the whole, the whole shebang. Just cut this little white edge off first. As usual, this is just a big experiment. <laughs> uh, let's, I, I think it'll turn out okay in the end. So just lay down. 
And I know you're thinking, well, why did she ink all those edges if she's just going to cover them up? Well, because you just never know, right? You never know what you're going to leave open and what you're going to cover up. And when you use napkins, the reason I love napkins is because so much comes through from underneath it. So we'll see if the inking comes through or not. So just lay it on there gently. took a tiny bit there's a little hole there now but that is okay because the great thing when you have an all over pattern you just tear a little tiny bit off put down some more Mod Podge stick it on and nobody will know we'll be the only ones that notice it <laughs> There we go. And I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut the excess off and then I'm going to Mod Podge the outside. So I don't have all this stuff flapping around. Now, do I want to, yeah, I think I'm just going to wrap it around, right around to the back. And we're just going to cover the whole darn thing. need to get some on the other side and I think I still have enough. Ah, it's not wide enough. I'm going to have to piece it. That's okay. So we'll just lay down the glue. And I'll use my biggest piece first here. could just get a new napkin. <laughs> That's what I could do. <laughs> but I like to use up my bits so that I don't have a bunch of stuff laying around and so that I'm not throwing stuff in the garbage I can use. There we go. Okay, I'll get this around the back here. I probably didn't need to ink all the edges just yet. I could have figured that out after, maybe. There we go. And then I just have this tiny little... Ah! See, you have to be so gentle, and I'm not. <laughs> not always gentle enough. We'll just do the same trick, just lay down a little sliver, and hopefully nobody will notice. This is all going to look like it's meant to be this way, <laughs> right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to put another layer of Mod Podge over top of all of this to seal it all in. And I'm trying really hard not to go and grab the Sparkle Mod Podge. But when I come back, don't be surprised if there's a lot of sparkle everywhere. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, I'll be right back once this is all dry. Okay, I'm back. It's been a while and I've been busy making all kinds of other things, but in the meantime, this little baby has dried and as promised, <laughs> I did go and get the Sparkle Mod Podge. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's pretty sparkly. Um, so, if you recall, the inside on this one, I topped the extra this paper's with a doily, um, but this time I had a little, um, I had a punch and I, this was left over from something I'd made so I just cut it in half and I'm going to use that at the top. I cut a bunch of um, paper, these are, these are um, photocopies of my own coffee stained paper. Uh, and I had used doilies with this and then I played with on the computer I played with the color a little bit and sort of deepened it and changed it a little bit um, so I like using this because it has the look it might not have the feel but it has the look and um, it's easy to write on it's nice and smooth so I'm just going to um, use my sewing machine I'm going to clip these in there and I'm going to put this on the very top of it just for something decorative. I'm just going to do one quick line of sewing right across and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all sewn in there now and the final thing to do is add a closure. So um, because this is a few layers and I've got lots of Mod Podge on there, I'm going to pull out the big guns here and I'm going to use uh, this guy and I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to go somewhere around there. That's good. And I'll throw on a couple of hole reinforcers. And these are old, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more glue just to make sure they don't fall off. One on the outside too. Okay. Ah. Okay. There we go. Keeps my fingers are sticky, so it keeps coming off on my finger. Okay, and I've got a bit of ribbon here. Um, let's see, how am I going to do this? My ribbon is quite short, so I think I'm just going to um, come through with one end. And I'm going to tie it. Double knot, and this will sort of come around and close like that. Be a loose, a loose closure, just like that. Well, eh, I don't think I like that. I think I need, I need another ribbon maybe. Okay, I'm sad this this one doesn't work because it's a nice contrasting or complementing color actually. It's got um, a blue undertone to it so it works perfectly but I got this purple ribbon and I am certain this is probably from the inside shoulders of a cardigan or sweater of some sort. So let me see how we'll do this one. This one's nice and long, so there we go. I'll tie this on there, and then this can come around both sides. And it's even long enough to do a bow. Ta-da! Perfect. There we go. Now I can make all the lists I want. <laughs> These would be great for little stocking stuffers or 
um, throw in some happy mail, that kind of thing. It's just a fun and easy project. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. And this gives you some ideas for some things you can do with your scraps. And uh, just remember, it all started with a couple of paint chips. <laughs> so have a great day, and thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.